Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is exclusively for YouTube people. So today in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to model of soccer ball inside of 3ds Max. So uh, if you have just started using Max, um, if you want to create a soccer ball, you might say that Sphere is the good way to create that because it is round. But if you create through Sphere, uh, let me turn off the selection bracket and turn off the edge faces. Yeah, you can see the faces are like this, so you won't be able to put the um, black and white color that you see on a soccer ball. So you'll have to texture it out, and I think it will be quite a hard time to do that. And even you don't have any details around your soccer ball. So, so how can we do that? Okay, let me just delete the sphere. So, go to the extended primitives under geometry tab and choose Hedra. So, drag it out. You see a kind of diamond shape object. So, now we're going to adjust its settings. Go to modify panel. Then, here we have got some settings uh, from parameters. There's a family. On family, we're going to choose Doric. Icos. Okay. So you have got this. Okay. Well first of all, let me just tell you something about this Hedra. So you have got different kind of settings for Hedra. You can do really a lot, many things from this. So you can play around settings and got get some cool results. Uh, can go to cube. There are some. You can play around. Then some stars. So you get really cool results. Okay, so for now we are going to Doric Icos and then on the family parameters P, let me just reduce it down so you can see that we are getting a kind of soccer ball pentagon or five aged uh, ships. So let me just put the value to 0 0.39. I think that's pretty good for uh, our case okay now I think that's what we need to do under Hedra the next thing we're going to do is convert this to editable poly okay now go to A's and select all the ages then I'm gonna split it so what the split does is uh, go to polygon and then select any polygon and move you can see that that's a separate piece so only when you go to polygon and move it that's gonna be a separate piece but as a whole object that uh, this head row will be a single one okay now let me add a mesh mode to this one uh, mesh mode okay now under the settings of mesh mode just turn off the actual line display so we have got some segments right here now turn the iteration to 2 so we have got more resolution uh, let me full screen the perspective by pressing the alt w key okay now the next thing we're going to do is go to modifier list and add a spareify modifier so what does that does it spareifies our soccer ball let me turn off the edges face, then you can see. So we are getting our soccer ball effect. Next thing I'm going to do is so I'm toggling the edge faces by pressing the F4 key if you don't know. Okay. Now again I'm going to add oh sorry. I'm going to now convert this to ATL poly again, but not by right clicking from here. I'll just add a edit poly modifier. Uh, edit poly. Okay. So you have got all these settings below it. Now let me go to polygon and then select all the faces and then extrude it. Okay. So I don't want to extrude it too much like this. So I'll just put a small value so you can hardly see it. Maybe about 0 0.245 or maybe 0 0.22 around that. Okay, just a little bit of extrusion. 
then OK. Now the last thing we're going to do is add another mesh mode. So mesh mode and we are done. So look we have got some details around here but one more problem we have got that is uh, we have got some blank spaces through which we can s see the back part so we gotta need to fix that because our soccer ball does not have like that okay so to fix that select the ball and select the top mesh mode modifier then subdivision method change back to quad output so that's gonna fix it for us so now we are done with our soccer ball okay now we're going to give it a black and white color so how can we do that okay just open a material editor and then select the first uh, default slot go to standard and choose multi sub object and discard all material okay now our soccer ball have one small um, polygon and there are some bigger with six edges uh, right there so they have different set ID let me show you that in uh, when we choose multi sub object we have got different material slots right down here so you can see her ID one two three so this belongs to different IDs uh, let me change the ID color for one to about black and then apply this material if you see that there is no changes that means our object does not have any any part with ID set to 1 so let me go to ID 2 and move it to white so you see that the bigger part all have been colored white so so what are the smaller one so I think that must be 3 ID 3 so change it back to black okay so or you can also set your IDs um, by just uh, adding an edit poly modifier then go to polygon and then just select any edges sorry any faces and you can move down and see that set ID there is set to 3 so that is your uh, ID 3 select this one there is 2 if you want to select anything else like if you want this one to be this this selected face to be set 1 then you can just change it back to 1 so you can see that those are black since we added black color to set ID 1 so let me change that to white again so in this way we can just create a nice simple looking soccer ball inside of 3 ds Max okay I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys enjoyed then don't forget to subscribe to get notified on uh, new tutorial released on my channels and VFX so thank you guys for watching